okay. isn't a loud amp event. We can't do it. Hi, welcome to 42 Gear Street 3 with Chris Jupiter and me, Andy Ferris, the Guitar Geek. And we've done a few things together. Yeah. Now we're actually doing something for your company, Jupiter Effects. Yes. Unbelievable. 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 Yeah. What have we got for us today, Chris? Um, I bring the Omacht, sir. The Omacht. And the small one. Yeah, this one. Yay. That's a mini version of uh, those biggies. Um, <laughs> this one is the new one. Um, it's a prototype we release soon uh, with two channels. So wow. more gain. And it even has uh, more watts, like 200s now. This is the old one. It's a spot on Model T. 150, right? 150. And this one has 200 and a second channel. And what about the little mini baby one? The mini baby one is um, the normal Omacht with one channel only and it's uh, 35 watts. Mm -hmm. Small head. Cool. We're using Capture X to capture the sound and put it into your ears, but we wanted to show you that it's actually pushing air and we can feel it with the cab. So the first thing that Chris is going to do is play it super loud. Yeah. Earplugs are in, you know, so I don't blow it. And then we're going to, um, going to you know, dial it back just a little bit so we can actually live in the same room as the Jupiter Effect stuff. Yeah. Um, when I press this switch here, or the camera, yeah, it's the two, uh, the, the second channel. Okay. So we're rolling. Can you play? Hmm? Like. Okay, what you don't hear in the, in the, in the front of your uh, computer is that the walls are shaking here and the, all the stuff is rattling. So I now go to the attenuation because I have like uh, three hours booked in this room. <laughs> can I take my earplugs out now? No, no you can, Andy. Oh, thank you. Right, so, oh, I was probably shouting at the beginning of this video. Very unprofessional. That is so nice to feel my guitar again. You know, when you, when you play, I, I, of course, love the sounds of the technology we have to record guitars these days. I do have my amp fairly loud in my studio. Yeah. But honestly, it's nice to feel a bit of bass, you know? That's a really, it's a lot clearer than I was expecting, you know? Yeah. It's not just um, like this Doom machine, it's just a full No, no, amp. it's, it's not, not like a farting machine no. because it has like KD88s and a 200, 200 watts, so it just delivers the preamp gain and all the saturation through the speakers. And if you got like a 412, it's even more clearer. Because what are we running through? Running through the, um, the cab, are we? Or the yeah, but it has like 150 watts. So the speaker start to destroy. Just uh, dis <laughs> destroy, <laughs> distorting. <laughs> destroy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've gone down in, in, in volume now. Yeah, because it's only not safe for the speaker cabin. I don't want to blow here something. Not really, no. Yeah. Henning's only got a few cabs, so. Yeah, but I'm not the one that destroying his stuff. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like now. <laughs> Try a different guitar. Uh, I do. So this is in C, right? Yeah. C okay. Standard. Let's um, let's try this Nick Hooper. <laughs> it sounds great. I like it. I like the combination. Yeah. I like the idea of you and Nick Hooper meeting, you know, in a bar one night and saying, "I've got a great amp, and oh, I've got a great guitar. We should put them together." You yeah. Know? Ask him, but he doesn't have like a shop where he displays stuff, and it's just like. They work in their shop like I do. As soon as he builds them, they're, they're sold already. You know, it's, yeah, it's insane. I know, I know. Okay, so this is, I think he's in standard. I hope it's in tune.
yeah. I want to say firstly, thank you. Sure. That's one of my most favorite moments of this uh, this event. That's just the fact. I, I have trouble describing things when I get into that mood that I was just in. Yeah. Because I just have so much fun. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not even listening. No. It's just going, it's not even going to my, it's going straight to my heart. Yeah. And then that's feeding into the guitar. You have like speaker saturation and power saturation and everything's like working good together. And that's the end if you like that kind of stuff. If you like standing in front of your cab laughing like. <laughs> Yeah, I love doing that. Yeah. And that's why even when I record with the Captor X, I always run through a cab and then I can just sort of do that with yeah. the cab and, and yeah. get some... Or room mic. To or a room in. mic, mm. yeah. But uh, it still sounds great. But um, I want to know, we haven't got this one plugged in, but what's, how similar are they in terms of tone? Um, basically the same, but 200 watts pushing speakers a lot of differently because you have more like power on the bottom because you need more watts for like low end. Mm -hmm. and this one has less of course, but it's still 35 watts ultra linear. So it's basically a hundred watt plexi and loudness still. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we didn't have ho ho hooked up all three because <laughs> they sound the same. They have just like different powers. Sure. Yeah. And also I bring two new paddles uh -huh. with me. That's the pedal camera. Catastrophe that we just heard. The very distortion, very heavy distortion as you hear, but you can, um, with the low cut, um, add some clearness and get then the bass back from the bass EQ. Yeah. And then you have here the octave with the big knob that you can blend in. Can you play me some cool licks, my friend? <laughs> And the wallow. It's a big muff. No, all three. That's what Nick Hoover guitars are built for. Basically, yeah. They love rock and roll too. I mean, ignore the music that I was playing there, just the frequencies. As a person who enjoys yeah, yeah. audio, yeah. there's just a lot going on there. And often when you, I mean... But clean. Yeah. Pretend, Chris, delivers. pretend you're not there for a moment. Pretend you're not there for a moment. Sorry to interrupt. But we can't do this, this okay. isn't a loud amp event. We can't do it. Sorry. We we died, then the attenuation like almost full. If I hear it on the street, I have a neighbor who has a oh. wall here. We, we just can't. We, you, this you, is attenuation, captor, and this. I'm sorry, I, it's, there's just no other way. Okay, no problem, honey. Why is all this stuff black? Oh, by the way, you had pink pedals. Yeah. You said you sent me one. That's right. Where my pink pedal, bitch? I have. Sorry, I want Daddy. A, I want a good fuzz, and I heard that the Wallow is like literally the best. Is that your best fuzz? No. 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 One of my best. Okay, but not the best. There is no such thing as best. Well, you are the best friend I have, and the best YouTuber in the world. Henning, yeah, I will send you some pink, pink <laughs> stuff. No worries. Also, if you play Jupiter Effects loud enough, it summons Henning. It does. And the police. And the police. Well, how are you attenuating? Huh? Like uh, this. With the boss. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't help us. Yeah, I know. I, I, everything's cool, Henning. Be courteous. Yeah, we, yeah. we will. What are you playing now? The Nick Hoover um, Jupiter Effects Edition. Well, that's crap. Yeah, nice. Dude, you look at it. I know.
Was it still too loud? Like too, too loud? Like twice as too loud? If I can hear it on the street. Yeah, okay. Also, you know, I'm old and uncool. Yeah, please. Don't say old. that. You're just old. And uncool. <laughs> oh! What? We were looking for that. Oh, it was there. It was there. Thank you. Continue. Right. It's always good to get a bollocking when you're at an event. Apologies. What are you filming here? Uh, that's not for us. Okay. We can film the amp from. Ah, oh, we're not supposed to film the amp from the back. I had interest. We're f f filming um, the car. Those are big ass tubes! Yes. And close that so you can see that. Sorry! Basically, a good statement to someone walk in and say, like, way too loud. Way too loud. But still clear. It, was, it, was, it is loud, but not like. You ah, cutting? You cutting the video? No. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I That's too good. I made Henning get good. angry. <laughs> <laughs> I got uncomfortable for a small second, but Henning, you know, we have to be courteous. Yeah. So this is probably the only video. <laughs> I want to be at Ryder next year. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. This is probably the only video we're going to get that tone in. Yeah. And that amount of uncomfortable. I'm glad that's you. Me too. Me too. Because if it was only <laughs> screaming on the streets. Who oh, was that loud? Yeah. We can hear you screaming. You're screaming too loud. <laughs> um, dude, I just want to say I love pretty much everything you do, including not to do with pedals, you know, just know. generally you. I know. Which makes it hard for maybe you guys watching this to think two friends, I'm automatically going to like what he does. Not necessarily. However, so far you just hit me hard with everything. Um, and Chris is very, very open and he says, tell me the stuff you don't like. And that, of course, helps you build better stuff. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I answered honestly, and you're here. The Warlow is not my favorite fuzz pedal because for me, fuzz is a mood kind of thing. You know? I mean, also, like, you're drawn out as a YouTuber with fuzz pedals, and yeah. the, the Warlow is like perfect for a sludgy or Smashing Pumpkins thingy fuzz. Mm -hmm. Let's still try out. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like the, the fuzz of like, there's it's not like one king, one pedal to rule them all. No. It's a very niche product, of course. But what it does, it does like perfectly good in that. But you, you don't, maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to build the perfect there's no per pedal. Yeah, there's no perfect girlfriend or something like that. There's... Hello, Frauke. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <yeah>, careful with <laughs> that. <laughs> don't know where you're going. You're still All right, cutting so the video. <laughs> definitely we're cutting it. Mate, um, thank you for your help and support during this event. Sure. Um, I love you. I love I what love you do. Mm. And I'm looking forward to getting tattooed by your girlfriend at some point. Not anymore. Not my girlfriend anymore, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please follow the hashtag 42GSTHREE, 42GSTRE3. Go and check out Mr. Chris Jupiter and the um, Nick Hoob, of course, and Bagley Guitars, because that's oh. what you were playing. Yeah. Um, that's my first time playing Chris's guitar, so that was exciting. Thank you to Henning, thank you to Leslie, thank you to all the helpers and Leslie's Leslie's, Leslie's mum? Henning's mum. I'm going to go for a little lie down on a coffee before I do my next video, but don't go anywhere. Go and find the rest of the Gear Street stuff and watch that. I'm excited to know who you've got next. Who have you got next, do you know? Is there someone in this room already, or they're just using the toilet? The, the screaming angry man. Screaming angry man? Henning? Yeah. No, the other one. Uh, you. Glenn. Glenn! Glenn! Okay, oh, he's here! Oh, hey, Glenn! Oh. Hello! Um, so, so, again, no load amps here. Hang it, Henning just. We got a bollocking. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye bye! Bye bye. <laughs>